is Cynthia with Cacti on White. Welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a quick garden tour. This is a small garden that I have in the front of my home. And I thought I'd step you guys through it so you can see what I have growing. Um, I'm gonna start out with the Agave Decimatana. It's uh, a soft leaf agave. It's been in the garden for a few years. It overwintered this past winter. And it did suffer some winter damage, but it's coming back strong. It does have some pups here, as you can see. Let's take a closer look. Here. All right, and there's one in the backside as well. And I also have this same agave in a variegated form. So let's take a closer look at that. Step through here. Hopefully don't get poked. You can see here that it's variegated and there's a bunch of new growth uh, coming in. So this is Agave Desmestiana um, in the green form that I showed you a few minutes ago and then the variegated form. So here we have the Choya, which is the Choya Cylindricable Apuncha. So I have three of these in the garden here, as you can see. And they've done very well. Let's see if I can get my shadow out of it. They've done very well over the years. They are cold hardy. Um, and they actually, for the last couple of years, have given me blooms. So I'm very happy about that. That's not the bloom, that is a red yucca bloom. But let's take a look. I'll insert some pictures of it in bloom, but here's the other one. As you can see, it's a big specimen and they look really, really nice in the garden. Um, and I like that I'm in zone, I'm in Texas, North Texas, and I believe it's nine, nine B, if you will. So they do really well. I can leave them in over winter with no problem. So there's that one. And then there's this larger one here. It looks really, really good. All right. And then there's a smaller one here that's had a few problems, but it does have some new growth coming in. So I'll get close there so you can see that. All right, beautiful, I love these. So next we have Aloe Apache. And this one is actually double-headed, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see, but there's two heads here. So there's one, and then there's two. And the bells that you guys hear in the background, those are my Palio Solera bell, Solerii bells that I got uh, a couple of, well, probably a year or so ago in Arizona. I went to the Costa Santi gallery and they sell, that's where they make the bells and they also sell them there. So it's Palo Soleri bells. So I love them. They really bring life to the front garden. I love to hear the chimes and I can actually hear them inside. So I really enjoy them. So anyway, on with the tour. This is a red yucca, which is a Hesper aloe. Um, and it has the pinkish red blooms. This particular one has never bloomed for me, but I have two others that have really done well. One even having a double bloom, which I'll show you here in a bit. But this particular one did not blow. Uh, this guy here is a new addition to the garden. So let me get a close up there. And this is the Magenta Magic Yucca. Sorry for the flag. Magenta Magic Yucca. So it will turn a deep magenta purple color uh, once it matures. So I'm excited for that. So on to the red yucca that I was speaking of earlier. This is the specimen here where you can see the two blooms. Here's one and then here's the other one and I'll follow it so you can see. It's been in bloom for several weeks now so the blooms are actually uh, fading away if you will but here is the bloom and you can see how long it is and then you can see the other bloom right here okay all right i love it then the third one is here which is much larger and it actually has a seed pod so i'll show you that as well so here's the large one with its blooms and 
if I can get it to focus, which I don't know if I can. I can try. I'll insert, insert a picture if not. But there's the blow. I mean, excuse me, the seed pot right there. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. So, also in the garden, I've planted recently some sedums, some very new additions to the garden. So here's one. And I believe this is sedum angelina. All right. So there's several sedums planted in the garden. So I'll show you some other ones here. This one, I forget the name, but the red here is a new addition. And it is sedum spirium dragon's blood, which I love. And then here, which I'll zoom in, is sedum tricolor, which is lovely. And then let's find the other ones in the garden. Here. Here, where is it? There we go. Sedum Sun Sparkle Cherry Tart is that one. So I'll point out the other ones as we come across them. Oh, I didn't show you guys. This is Cacti here. Name is this is the Peruvian Old Man. I've had these in the garden for several years. Um, so they don't, they're not winter hardy. So I, I uproot them and overwinter them indoors. But they're, they're a staple in the garden. One of my pride and joys in this garden is this huge agave Americana if I can get it in the frame here. It's huge. It was tiny when I got it several years ago. But as you can see, it's a big guy now. Look at the base. And it's putting off new growth, which I'm very excited about, as you can see. It's stable. It's stabilized uh, in the ground. It, it overwinters outdoors, no problem good deal right because it would be huge to try to uproot and store so I'm happy that it's winter hardy and it's established in the garden so it's one of my prized specimens that I really appreciate and enjoy having in the garden let's see what else okay here is another agave which is this one is agave it's tricolor. Lofantha tricolor is the name. And I have several of these. These are beautiful. Um, I do take this one up when it gets uh, below 40 degrees into freezing. So it does not overwinter. But I love it. It's beautiful. Look at that. And here is another addition that's fairly new. This is a ice plant, an ice plant. I love the cute little flowers. This is Jewel of the Desert. That's what it's called, an ice plant that I've added. This rock is from a hiking trip in East Texas last year. So I collected this one and a couple of other ones I'll show you. There's one right there. And there's a few other ones scattered. Um, rocks are a very important element of the garden as we all know. So I like to add them in. So there's rocks throughout the garden. Here is another black tip agave. I can't think of the actual name, but it's beautiful. Uh, let's see. Also, I have a very large Aponchia that's been in the garden and, it, and it's winter hardy as well. Um, very large specimen started out as a little tiny baby but now has grown to be humongous all right uh, it's doing pretty good it does get uh, the cactus beetles which are so annoying that I have to treat it for occasionally and you'll notice here the white uh, let's see if I can point it out the white sap that's from the beetles sucking the life out of it. Um, but it's hard to treat those, but I try to stay on top of it. But you can see it's sprawling. It's a very large plant at this point. Does very well. 
Here's a another agave Apache right here. All right. An agave Regine does really well. It does not overwinter outside though. Let's see what else we have. Now you can kind of see the variegation in that agave Decimatania. Uh, also, I like to add a little garden art as well, so you can see that. You can get a big, a better view. So let's take a look at some of the planted pots as well. Oh, before I do that, here's another addition to the garden. It's a sedum, and it is called Blue Elf something. Let me see if I can remember. Uh, sedum. Um, I can't think of the name of this one, but it's Blue Elf, something like that. And then a little garden sign. I don't remember planting this. All right. So let's take a look at the potted plant. So what you're looking at right now is what is the very first cactus I ever bought about 11, 12 years ago. Um, it's an Echinopsis oxygana. Uh, Easter lily cactus. It's huge. So I'll try to get so you can see how large it is. It was a little tiny ball when I got it. Now it's humongous as you can see. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of like what started it all. So it's my pride and joy. It produces numerous pups all year long. Uh, here's another favorite of mine. If I can see, get this one in frame here. As you can see, it is a Sirius Peruvianus Montrose. Look at that. And another favorite is the San Pedro cactus. See how large this guy is. It just doesn't stop. The Madagascar palm. I have two of those. I had three, I lost one over winter. It didn't do well. Uh, a brand new yucca that needs to be planted in ground. And also this Sirius Jamakura. It needs to be planted in ground as well, but it's huge as you can see. I've had it about a year, um, but uh, haven't had a chance to get it in the ground yet. Uh, this one is agave white striped century plant. So it's the it's the agave americana mediopicta albo. Oh, not showing it right here. And another agave here. I like agaves. Another apuntia and a very large uh, Madagascar palm. Let's get that one. And I'll insert more pictures here well this one is a fairly new acquisition uh, that I love I love adeniums this particular one is adenium arabicum and it's a cross of Thai soko and this is a regular uh, desert rose right here uh, I also have some mammillarias some more apuntia micro daisy This is a fairly new agave. It's agave titianota. What a name, right? And one of my prize plants is the yucca rostrata. It's beautiful. I also have some more of the tricolored agaves here. You can see that. Novellus. I have another one of those, a desert rose that's in bloom. Let's get a close up of the blooms here. Beautiful. I love desert rose plants. So beautiful. Okay. So this is a newer acquisition that I'm just in love with that I need to plant as well. 
it is the Agave Gypsophila Ivory Curls. And this is a very large desert rose plant. I don't know if you can see that, but it's huge. Hasn't bloomed yet, but hopefully soon. This is my Euphorbia White Ghost. It's hard to really capture this one in video because it's so sprawly and humongous, but I'll do my best to slowly show you guys this beauty. Here I have some more San Pedro's. There's three stems in that pot. Uh, additional uh, uh, aloe nobelis. And one of my favorites here. One of my favorites, which is the Aluata Procera, a Madagascar Ocotilla. So look at that, just gorgeous. I love these. Geometrizin, Clysocactus here, and oh, the, got a little pup coming in this. And the Clysocactus, some more desert 